Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Hmm, good to know, dear, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Well, a pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely.
I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um... I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know? Seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby.
Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up.
got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. He would like it there. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just... Get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Will do. I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you? Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Ugh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe.
Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. <laughs> Oh, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way.
Call the cops or the forest service and and let them know this is going on. Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof. I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never gonna let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No. I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right.
Where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me.
there's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across.
You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like... If you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and... Keep an eye out for anyone following you. <laughs> 